Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is James Duggan with IGN, and I'm here with Vincent Janito. What's up, James? All right, so we're going to play some uh, Batman Arkham Evolve. <laughs> This guy looks like I love Crow. Like, and this is not meant derisively at all. I love his look, but yeah, he does look like a, like a, like a budget Batman cosplayer. <laughs> like he went and got some roadkill and put it on his head because he couldn't <laughs> find like a, a latex cowl or something. This is, this is like his interpretation of what Batman should have been. So we're playing some of the new um, hunters coming to evolve in the DLC, which is releasing the thirty first. Thirty first. So it's very soon. Um, and in fact, you may be seeing this on that day. So we're not sure. Yep. But, well, anyway. Uh, yeah, perhaps you'll be seeing it and playing it right after. Oh, sweet. Shall we jump in? Let's do it. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to be playing uh, the, the new Trapper, uh, Crow, this, uh, this cool dude. He's got, he's got a friend. He's got a friendo right there on his arm. He's beautiful. He is a, he is a beautiful, aw, Gobi. Gobi the pet bat, right? Oh, he's talking about Crow. He's beautiful, too, but, but Gobi, <laughs> I want a pet Gobi. I want a, I want a stuffed Gobi. Um, oh, man, plushy opportunities. Yep. Here we go. So, oh, I'm totally sold. Listen in 2K. <laughs> so, yeah, perk choice for uh, for Crow so far. Um, I'm kind of of two minds. I like quick switch because you need to switch uh, to and from Gobi often as well as to and from the stasis uh, gun and the long rifle. So I feel like he's a switch-heavy character, so I always like having the faster switch with him. That is solid thinking. Yeah, but uh, both of his weapons... Uh, you know, you want to fire a lot with them, and they already have relatively deep clips. So sometimes increased battery, you get like more bang for your buck mm -hmm. uh, with that. But I'm gonna go with the quick switch so that I can show off his uh, his ability to switch a little bit more. And we're gonna we're gonna customize our team a little bit. Sweet. Here. Let's uh let's bring out all the new folks. Slim. Slim. Oh, Slim is such a baller. Love I wonder that what guy. His, what does his voice sound like? I haven't heard his voice. Oh, does his he just voice. Go, ah, ka, 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 ka. No, no, no. He he talks like a like a like a person like yeah, a real person, but he's kind of snarky, and I like it. He's got <laughs> kind of an attitude. All right, we got Sunny, the Sunny. support. Yeah, who's got this deep, like kind of sultry voice, but she's like a very uh, very upbeat, like optimistic, like like sweet type character. And right, we have Torvald, who uh, has been torn apart by something and a monster, I would assume, and his robots put him back together. Yeah, exactly. And the the story here for him is that uh, his um, the medical bots. Couldn't get it done all the way, so the like the security bots. Did he to, did he lose the will to live? Like, <laughs> <laughs> possibly. He sounds like it. You'll, you'll you'll hear. He uh he's totally like emotionless and plays that role. So him and Sunny have some interesting banter because she's always trying to cheer him up and he doesn't have feelings. So oh, that's really nice. Uh, so and well. of course, Behemoth. Yep, and Behemoth, the big guy, the new big boy on the block. Come on, give us some banter. It's so funny with the banter in this game. I love sometimes the it just doesn't but happen. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. <laughs> One time I was skag hunting over on Pandora. Oh wait, wrong wrong franchise. <laughs> oh, I would I could totally see Pandora and Elpis being worlds and. Uh, that'd in be the, cool if they just went to Pandora and did some evolve hunts. Oh, that'd be so sick. No step. I never noticed that before. No step in here. Express elevator to hell, going <laughs> down. <laughs> Woo! I really like Slim's wings. You know, the jetpacks are sweet, but the fact that he's a bug is just dope. Okay, so you see I've got birds out that way, and uh, it's definitely, like, Gobi, I could just send him out um, in um, in any direction, and he'll go in that direction up to 200 meters. So the downfall with Gobi is that he's not, uh, he's kind of directionally challenged in the sense that he's not omnidirectional. You just have to commit to a direction, and you found him immediately. He, yeah, as you yeah. can see, Gobi painted him fantastically well. So, so yeah, so now I'm going to show the uh, the stasis gun off. So you see that? Now he's, uh, he's going to be slowed for an amount of time. And I'm going to uh, use that time to switch to my long rifle, which I can charge. And, and you're uh, penetrating that armor. Well, the armor's gone at this point, but... Yeah, so once the armor's gone, you're actually much better off just, uh... Well, this might be a very quick match. Yeah. So it's okay. <laughs> we can do two if we have to. But, uh, yeah, you're much better off... You're much better off doing, uh, rapid fire shots, uh, and firing semi-automatic against, uh... For DPS. Behemoth. What if he has a ton of armor stacked up? Do if you, he has a ton of armor stacked up, then you absolutely do the, the charge shot. But once armor is down, like, the overall DPS on the... on the Wow, that was really fast. So, so the record achieved. You got a couple achievements. Well, yeah, geez, that was that was super quick. Invincible. Oh, oh, oh Vincent Junito. Twitter handle popping name. up now. So yeah, that's been uh, that's been evolved. Thanks for joining us, guys. See you later. <laughs> uh, no, we'll do another one. We'll do another one. Can so, we but, can we play? Uh, who who should we play? Who's the second most interesting for your money? I, I would probably pay, play Torvald, but I think you'd 
would not. You'd probably play a support or or the medic. I I, I would, but we can play Torvald because I kind of want to see Slim actually. Oh, you want to see Slim? In yeah, action? I want to sure. see how can, how quickly Slim's shotgun uh, reduces the cooldown on his healing burst. Yeah, that's right. So I can totally show that off for you. So uh, what perk are we taking with Slim? What so Slim. Slim is not really a switch heavy character. Um, honestly, you, Slim is kind of can can benefit from all uh, from all different ones. I don't think there's one in particular that that helps him the most. I would say because he is a target, damage resistance can be good. Um, he doesn't really need health regen because he can healing burst so often, mm -hmm. as you'll see. So um, yeah, I think the I think let's let's go with damage resistance on him. And I don't usually do that for the hunters, but uh, again because he's uh, he's gonna be such a target, and people are gonna want to go in on him like so, uh, so immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, he's definitely needs some way to uh, to protect himself. And again, we'll hook ourselves up with all the other uh, checking all, out the new content here. All, all our other fourth tier buddies. Hopefully, uh, hopefully our bot crow is as godlike as my crow was. Uh, it's probably not gonna happen, but <laughs> we can certainly try. Yes. So, uh, so slim, uh, slim is interesting because. Um, he's a true combat medic. Um, as we're, as we're oh, here we go, out. here we go. Yeah, we're going to get the rundown on his abilities. Um, so yeah, this is his leech gun, and it does decent damage, um, but the key thing is that with every hit, it's not by damage, it's by number of hits. With every hit, he helps recharge his healing burst. So you're aiming center mass pretty much all the time. Yeah, I always just center mass with him. So uh, this is his spore cloud. And basically, as the spore cloud is like a 40 meter radius. It's a big radius. Mm -hmm. And as long as the monster's inside that radius, he can't smell. I know that doesn't sound very like, like very much like a big deal. But believe me, like when the monster can't smell, he can't see those health bars, so he doesn't know who's low, and he can't make out the outline of who's who. I mean, it, it kind of depends on the, the environment, too, and the setting. If you're in a very sure. clean, kind of serene, um, the like military base, then yeah, you can kind of make out the silhouettes pretty easily. But if you're in the middle of a jungle, and there's all kinds of uh, geometry all over the place, it might be really difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so that can be surprisingly disruptive, uh, depending, again, on the, you know, on the opponent you're playing against. But... And, we're, and like you said, what map you're in. But, you know, you can keep it up 100% of the time. It stays up, I think, for six or seven seconds, and the cooldown is quick. So, like, you can just fire it, switch off, do your thing, and then, mm -hmm. you know, switch back to it a few seconds later uh, if you so, uh, if you so please. But the, the other thing he's got is his healing drone, um, which we... How effective is that? It's very effective. It, it will heal someone too full. Um, you just throw it out on them. And uh, oh, that's right. In uh, when you're playing with the AI, the computer always just follows you. So that means I'm, I'm not just the <laughs> medic; I'm the tracker as well. Oh wait, there we go. There's well, there's tracks over there, but yeah. So oh, those tracks keep... are wow. Those tracks are very visible. Well, Man. yeah. So aside from the regular tracks, something you have to keep in mind with uh, Behemoth. With Behemoth is that when he rolls, uh, when he does his whole roll thing, he leaves a, a flame trail behind him. So that's kind of like another form of. Uh, of track that you have to get used to looking at. Looks like he's over this way. Oh, so now you're using the minimap to kind of, I mean, there's really only one way he could go, uh, which is you're cutting him off right now. He yeah. can go to the north and then go east and potentially come down south or uh, trick you, but it seems like you were closing in on him. Let's see. I actually don't know which... Uh, I do love the look of his gun. It's uh, it's gorgeous. It's I oh mean yeah, I, I love sick. the sinew and the kind of um, biological elements like that are inside go, of it, go. as well as the metallic stuff. Yeah, all the weapon designs in uh, in Evolve and all the character designs are really like kind of super neat. Oh, scare birds. Uh, okay. There you go. Oh man! Oh, wow. So wow, he he's he did get away from you, there. and so now he's heading heading south on the map. Um, and yeah, let's see where's see from that direction he could go anywhere. He could go. He could break <laughs> off left or he could break off right. This um, is where it sucks not being the trapper in single player mode. Yeah, exactly. And um, you know, of course, at this point he could he could break east or west. There's really no way to no one's gonna be able. Okay, so. Birds, let's go. So you are oh. switching, you just switched Whoops, to Torvald, just, and now you're switching back to Crow. Total accident. So, um, <laughs> I thought maybe you were going to, I mean, you could. You could take control of Crow and then kind of track him down and switch back. Oh, that's back. true. I can't do that. Uh, so, yeah, why don't I do that? Because this is going to be annoying otherwise. 
Gobi. Oh. Oh, Damn it, Gobi. Oh. <laughs> there he is, that direction. Ta da. You gonna switch? Gonna you gonna put trap that him? Up first. Yeah, that's important. Sure get that. And now there it is. <laughs> Look at you playing all the characters. <laughs> all right, so the key thing I wanted to see here is how quick the healing burst yeah, so can be. Yeah, so healing burst is down right now. Wow, it's up. Yep, and it's up. That is nuts. What is the normal cooldown on that? Is like, what, 10 seconds? Uh, Longer, like 30. That is insanity. So, I mean, if you're playing with a Slim on your team, and I'm no meta expert of Evolve right now, but I bet that there's probably going to be quite a few of them playing when this oh, DLC hits. Oh, yeah, I, I think so, too. Make sure to stay close to him. So, yeah, I'm going to show you the, the healing drone right now. So I put that on Sunny. So as long as Sunny doesn't take any more damage, she's going to uh, she's gonna keep being healed until she's at full health. Wow, Damn. that was another overwhelming one. The cool thing about his healing, about the, about the healing drone, is that it has global range. Mm-hmm. Or at least near global range. So if it's actually ideal for splitting up. So if uh, if a team wants to go one way to find the monster and you go the other way, um, then if they get damaged, if they like you know have a encounter with wildlife, they get ambushed by like a mega mouth or something, and they're like, oh damn, now we're like running you know towards the monster trying to find him, and if we find him, we're low health. Slim can literally just like point at them from across the map, and like a little arrow will still appear over their head, and he can just activate the drone, the drone will teleport to them and just heal them to full. Awesome. All right, well, I want to see the mini nuke launcher, and then I think we can wrap up, but <laughs> cool. the mini nuke launcher is totally BA. Yes. It's, uh, it's pretty nasty. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. And that, of course, is Sunny the support. Yep, that's uh, right. Who also has, for my money, one of the most interesting secondaries, which is the jetpack booster. Uh, you know, of course, if you played Evolve, you know running out of jetpack sucks, but with the jetpack booster, you will not run out, or at least you'll have an extended duration, and for that entire duration, you'll have increased speed, which is totally kick-ass. That's right, and uh, when she's targeting you with that, um, it doesn't... Uh, any boosting you do doesn't take away from your fuel. It takes out of the battery of the of the, of the the jetpack booster. So because is that, of that tied into Sunny's fuel, or no? What's that? No, not, not Sunny's fuel, okay. the battery, but the battery of her of the jetpack booster. Um, so for that reason, I'm actually going to go with the increased uh, battery size because the bigger that battery uh, that you're carrying, the longer she'll be able to boost her uh, her teammates for. Fantastic. Of course, the irony of this is that your teammates are not going to boost far away from you because they're just going to follow you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Which is, you know, again, the uh, oh, the joys of playing with uh, with bots. So. Uh, so you said at one point that Sunny is is the most supporty support. Yeah, I feel like she is because like um, not that the other supports don't don't fulfill their role, but I just feel like a, when I think of supports, I think of characters who um, aren't necessarily about directly contributing to combat, but who have abilities that can do a lot of other things. And it's funny because she can directly contribute to combat with that mini nuke launcher, which is really nasty. But where the other supports, I feel like, have abilities that are that are kind of all about, like, creating more damage for the team, like uh, Hank's orbital, you know, orbital strike or, uh, um, you know, his orbital strike or, like, Cabot's, like, damage amp. Um, Bucket's got all these sentry drones and uh, a really hard-hitting rocket launcher. Um, I feel like Sunny's two other abilities, the, the uh, shield drone and the jetpack booster, are like super utility right. based. You know what I mean? Totally. They're not. Uh, they're not about making. So I have a question about the shield drone. How does it? Oh wait, let's see if we get. Oh. oh. Yes. That... What happened to the rest of your body, man? It is a long story. Yeah, I've heard. Well, we've got about 15 seconds. Time's a wasting. I was the tech officer on the Ebon Star light cruiser Ajax. Tech officer? You were a. <laughs> Really? An engineer? Robotics. Wow. And now you are a robot, sort of. Yes. The robots did this to me. Okay. I do like well, that all the assaults just speak one syllable at a time. <laughs> a very deep voice. You can tell so hard that they want him to have a Russian accent, but they already have Markov. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there it is. Oh, this, go oh, this, this is going to be trouble. This Gobi with the... Uh, all right, so how much damage does this do straight away? That's a significant amount for one shot. And it's certainly an entertaining weapon to use. I think one of my uh, complaints with the support is... The, I don't uh, know, guys, I'm not... Guys, follow the monster. 
Actually, uh, Hank's weapon is pretty awesome. But I'm not super... Or no, 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 I'm sorry, uh, Bucket. Bucket's weapon I love a lot. But I'm not super thrilled with Hank's weapon. But that's very important for me when I play any kind of Hunter and Evolve is just to be completely in love with the primary weapon. And this this one may take the cake. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it just hits like a, like a truck. I mean, it's just... <laughs> yeah, it's just hilarious. Um... So yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough to show off the uh, the jetpack booster. Yeah, the jetpack booster, but this is what it looks like, and uh, you know you can see I'm, I'm boosting the <laughs> trapper. Oh man, he's he's taking full advantage of that yes, by standing is. completely still. Um, but yeah, the hope there would be that the trapper would be like, yeah, I'm gonna. Oh yeah, that's the edge of the map. Don't want to go over there. So the idea is to slingshot the trapper towards the monster, or if somebody is kind of too far, like let's say the trapper is overextended and needs to boost back but is out of fuel, you can use your launcher. What's the range like on that, do you know? Um, it's, I believe, 50 meters? Uh, so pretty far. Maybe it's longer. No, it's 80 meters. I think it's 80 meters. Okay. I might be, I might be making these, uh, these numbers up, but that's what I think I remember the, the devs saying is 80, is 80 meters, which is pretty, pretty damn far. Also, uh, so the shield drone, I guess my my first question when I saw it was, how does it choose whom to, is it just the closest, like whom to give a shield to? Does so, it yeah, I talked to the developers about this quite a bit, and because um, I was wondering the same thing, I'm like, how do you, how is it going to, how can you, how can it act intelligently and how much ridiculous programming had to go uh, into making that? work but the act the actual truth is that it didn't really require a lot they basically just kept it as simple as possible which you know is usually a pretty smart uh, a pretty smart way to go basically whoever is being currently targeted by the monster um, is uh, shielded Wow is, so that is shielded that is like that is not just efficient but optimal yeah absolutely so of course the argument you could make is that a smart monster player could then turn around and you know uh, just keep switching targets, but of course you know that's not optimal for the monster at all. Right. So uh, the monster wants to focus on one target. It seems like a scenario uh, kind of like the it's behind you. Um, oh, we got it him. seems a, like a similar s scenario to the uh, trap mines in the sense that you kind of have to deal with the shield drone when it goes down before you do anything else uh, and kind of just stop what you're doing. Yeah, so I've, I've, I'm putting out this uh, this drone now that's going to protect Maggie us. Ooh, Maggie got dropped, I believe. So the mobile arena went down since our trapper died. And there oh we can boy. see the behemoth wall, which is totally insane yeah, when you were playing as the craziness. hunter. But uh, the behemoth is sticking around, which is maybe not the best idea for him. Although he you is stasis. You see the drone so. doing its job. Yep. You see how much damage my mini nuke launcher is doing to him. Now, you can't jetpack boost yourself, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, that would be, <laughs> that would be the most selfish cool. class and awesome. Man, he is still stasis. Oh, okay, I guess he's launching stasis. Shots at him. Oh, can you make the oh, shot? Oh, whoops. Nice. That was a hit. Fire, fire, fire. So, and then, of course, you have the cloaking field, which, as we all know, is fantastic for when any of your teammates are down. You can pop that and uh, be more discreet when trying to revive fallen teammates. Uh, yeah, when trying to revive or, um, you know, not just when trying to revive, but also... <laughs> gun is amazing. Yeah, it's so bonkers. Oh, my God, he's still here? Yeah. Well, he is a bot, remember? Oh, no. Oh, God, the Mega Mouth. You know, it's funny. I saw that Mega Mouth, but I'm like, eh, I'm in midair. He won't come after me. Nope. How many shots to kill the Mega Mouth? How many nukes to get to the center of a Mega Mouth? <laughs> three. One, yeah, two, 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 three. 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 <laughs> oh, wow. We got a dune, uh, dune Beetle here, too. Nuke him, Rico. <laughs> the Dune Beetle really actually looks like a Starship Troopers bug. Oh, my God. Like in it. every way, shape, or form. And now you have the mini nuke launcher, so you're totally Starship out. <laughs> yeah, but you can see, like, uh, God, the nuke launcher just makes... Uh, it makes very short work of wildlife, even big ones. Uh, Especially you know. any kind of small ones that are grouped up, because that's the whole point is it's massive AOE damage. So yeah, really um, cool. yeah. So she's totally dangerous in, uh, in in direct combat, but also, like I said, you know, with those other two abilities, she's just super, super supporty. Uh, I wish I could show uh, show off the 
the jetpack booster a little bit better. But it's just it's so funny. Uh, it's so fun to use because um, you just. I mean, I cannot properly explain just how she flies mm -hmm. uh, when she's uh, under the influence. Well, of I could bring up what? a clip of it right now. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, we're, if we're, I we're seriously looking at it right now. And there it's gone. I mean, that was a super short amount of time. Um, that is from the, the intro video, but that is... It's totally awesome. It's it's like engaging warp speed. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... it's, it's Blatantly obvious, you know, and like of course when uh, when the computer's giving it to you or when uh, your teammates are giving it to you, y the size of your screen will kind of like show purple. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping the uh, and it'll also doesn't it show uh, kind of an orange bar to the right where your jetpack fuel is? Yeah, so you see, like it'll it'll. Uh, Fire. Oh shoot! Did I did I did I not put down? Oh the no, dome? you didn't. Okay, I thought you whiffed it, but. I thought I didn't put it down. I thought I, I thought for sure I pressed the button. Come on, Gobi. Go, Gobi. Gobi, find him. Gobi. Oh, that was so terrible. <laughs> if I was playing online, my team would be screaming at me right now. And it's okay, I'll, so. I'll scream at you instead. Who knows if he's even over here. This is the, the key. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I need a boost. Man, he is amazingly... Um, Luminescent. <laughs> more, oh yeah, much more so than the he's, other monsters. You know, he's he's a fire monster. I mean, I mean, I wonder what in his kit is really making up for that. I guess he has a lot of armor, but that is a pretty serious weakness. Yeah, he's he's very very, like it's not. He has a like as opposed to um, Wraith, who has a very small profile. Um, he's got a very like, a very uh, a very large one. Yeah, and and and. Like compounded with the fact that he's glowing bright orange, so end it with the nuke launcher. Yeah. Uh, oh, somebody else is gonna steal your kill, but whatever. <laughs> totally badass. All right, thank yep. you very much, Vincent Janito. My name is James Duggan. Thank you so much for joining us, checking out three of the new hunters. Maybe we'll have to do like a when the the game goes live, we'll go on and play with for some bros, with some bros and or play ladies Torvald. and play Torvald um, and see how we do. But until awesome. then, for everything evolve, keep it right here at IGN.